the old ruins of Wackenstein. I gotta see what this ritual is like. Okay, I believe it was light the pyre. Ring the bell. And put in the herbs. Fits like a glove. Loud and powerful music follows the fog and the figures, crushing over your head in roaring waves. The force of the music clouds your senses, and it seems as if the statue of the blind guardian rises from his throne. You want to draw your companion's attention to it, but then you suddenly realize that you have a tankard of ale in your hand. You instinctively try it, and are happy to know that you haven't drunk such good ale since Ogre's death. The night becomes a colorful whirl of ale, music, dance, and ecstasy. You can no longer remember why you are here or who you are celebrating with. For a few hours, you forget what was and what is to come. You are completely in the here and now. You wake up the next morning. You're lying on your back and staring into a sky that is much too bright. You turn onto your side with difficulty and see your companions all around you, but no one else. The remains of a wild party. Campfires, tents, and ale tankards are still there, but the magic has gone. You stand up, muttering curses, and try to suppress the taste in your mouth and the pain in your head. To your great surprise, you see that the stony figure of the blind guardian has revealed a tunnel that leads into the rock of the mountain. If we go on now, we probably can't come back. The mechanism looks like it will close the pass behind us. We should be sure that we have done all we need to. The victory over the orcs was hard fought, but you have won. Not least thanks to your aides. You take care of the wounded and take your leave before you finally continue on your way into the mountains. Achievements everywhere. Invincible. Yeah. My boy Bowen Doll. What's with all these pearls? I don't even know what to do with them. While you rest under a ledge at noon, Rodario and Fergus decide to go ice fishing, and the dwarves immediately pronounce their opposition. Ice and water are both treacherous. They entice you to them. Before you know it, you disappear into them forever. Like in a marriage, you mean? At first, the woman entices you, but if you stay in her arms like a good boy, the good life is over all too quickly. The good life, in which you go behind the backs of other men, get beaten up and one day die painfully of a sexually transmitted disease. All slander, my dear. Rodario bares his teeth for a moment and then follows Fergus to the shore. He reminds me of a billy goat we used to have. 
mounted everything that got in its way. One day, he mounted a goat that was standing too close to a cliff. The two of them fell down the cliff in the best of spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Your path leads you over a snowy, hilly plain, and as you scale a particularly steep hill, you falter. A crevasse opens out in front of you. You look around, but there isn't any point nearby where you could cross over the gap. You attach a rope to a huge rock and abseil down, one after the other. The floor of the crevasse is darker and colder than you'd expected. The sun hardly ever reaches down this deep. You light torches and look around. At some distance you notice the entrance to a cave, which seems to wind upwards on the other side. But you can't be sure that this path leads out. Explore the cave! You are afraid that you might get lost in the ice cave and freeze to death in misery. But ultimately, your curiosity is rewarded. You find, after an hour's search, a winding passage that leads you to a large chamber. You walk ahead with your torch outstretched and see a shadow in the ice. You step backwards in shock as you realize that it's the body of a frozen human. Something glittering in the floor grabs Goimgar's attention. An ornamented gold shield. Part of it is frozen into the ice but it should be easy to free. Pure gold! This thing must be worth quite a bit, though it would be completely useless in a fight. You allow Goimgar to free the shield from its icy prison. After you've had a look around the rest of the chamber and taken a short break, you look for a way back up to the surface. You are able to continue on your way without any further delay.